Hey guys. So you guys, I posted a picture like a week or two ago um, showing you just kind of a picture of the inside of my purse, which is a huge mess right now. But I asked you, you know, if you wanted to see what was inside my makeup kit or my little emergency kit, then like the picture and you guys did. So I actually got kind of a huge response on it, so I was pretty surprised. So in my purse, I have my makeup bag, which looks like this. And then I have my little emergency kit, which looks like this. And then I have another one, which is the same size as the makeup bag that looks like this, which I keep in like my little crossbody bags, like the smaller bags. So I'll show you what's in all of them. So first, makeup bag. Now all three of these I got at Target for like $1.94, so you really can't go wrong with that. All kinds of different colors, but this is the makeup bag. What is in here is NYC Smooth Skin Pressed, that was a fly pressed face powder in 701A translucent because looks like that in case you don't know. Um, I generally just wear translucent powder. I don't wear colored powder so I like to keep some on hand just to kind of touch up you know. And along with that I have some e.l.f. oil blotting sheets and e.l.f.'s oil blotting sheets look like this in case you didn't know. I've got those in there. So you use those and then you use the powder. And then I've got a concealer stick. Ooh, it kind of came out a little bit. And this one is just a generic one. Um, it's not like medicated or anything. Just because, oh, I broke it already. That's nice. That was real great. Anyway, I had a concealer stick in there. Because it just busted off. That's just lovely. I don't even know where it went. Anywho, just to conceal, you know, whatever screw you. And then I keep, um, from CoverGirl, it's their moisture top coat lip balm thing that came, comes with the, well, the long, I'm just dropping everything, the long lasting lip wear, the Outlast. And I keep an extra one in here because it does make, just to kind of fresh up your color if you want. And then I keep whatever lip color I'm wearing that day, which today is Wet n Wild's 508A Black Orchid which looks like that color right there. And I don't do it as dark as it is because it could it makes me look like I'm super goth when I do it. And then I've got a hair tie. Let's put it back in there so it doesn't all fall. And then a hair tie with some body pins attached because you never know when you're gonna need those. And then I've got from Wet n Wild Balm Stain Mega Slips Moisturizing Lip Color in nudist colony which is kind of a nude color just because I like to kind of make this go lighter sometimes and then my go-to mascara which is Revlon's 3D volume with the photo ready 3D volume like that so that is what I keep in here because it makes my life easier for makeup so that's what's there I have to go get a new freaking concealer now and then in the emergency kit that goes in all my purses this is the bigger makeup bag bag and in here I also have a hair tie, I've got a charging block, I usually have my cable in here but it's not so that's really great for emergencies, right? I've got a sharpie, because you never know when you're going to need one. And then I've got my Rocky Mountain Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 water resistant because it's amazing. Another hair tie with bobby pins, a lighter from 7-Eleven, and then I've got some Visine. Some Tums that I got at a gas station and I decided to keep them in here because you never know when you're going to need them. Some tweezers which actually came about staying there on 4th of July. I was running around doing errands and then I got like one of my eyelashes curled under and kept poking my eye and it was like tangled in my normal eyelashes so it was just sitting there poking me and I had to actually go buy them because I couldn't run back home and get it out and I couldn't get it out any other way so those and then some nail clippers because that just comes in handy I can't even tell you one of these little packages of q-tips uh, a blister band-aid because they come immensely in handy other band-aids and a nail file and it's funny because I used to take band-aids with me everywhere and then everybody would never want one or need one they'd be like why do you always carry all that crap in your purse you don't use it and as soon as I stopped carrying band-aids everybody wanted one it's terrible. And then I've got OptiFree Pure Moist contact solution in there. A couple of U by Kotex tampons. Just 
that way you're prepared for any emergency that could arise for the most part because yeah definitely if you guys want to create an emergency kit you want to make sure you've got hair ties charger things like that in there and at first it was both my makeup kit or my makeup bag and my emergency kit and then it just got too full and I was like no so then in this one which goes in like my little bags <clears throat> Because I can't keep, you know, the stuff mostly out. I've got just a little package of tissues. I've got this. I bought it just for this, actually. It's the it's by Trim. It's an all-purpose nail kit. It comes with a double-sided nail file, cuticle pusher, just everything I have in the other one, but in this convenient little package, which made it a lot easier. And then I carry also one of those lip moisturizer thingies. And then I carry... Two U by Copex, Copex tampons and a little panty liner by them because, you know. And then I've got a pen because I put it in here because I didn't want it to get like any kind of leakage, messiness in my Michael Kors. And a Sharpie as well. When the Sharpie thing actually came from um, going to Telluride and Ore when we went and they had... Um, this one is at the O'Reilly House Brewery, and you could write on a dollar and they'd stick it up there and you didn't have a Sharpie, and you didn't have a Sharpie, and I was like, what? So, yeah, that is what is in these little emergency kits, and I don't really, like, that one will have, um, I'll put the powder and stuff in there, too. I just kind of switch it back and forth, um, because I didn't really see a purpose buying two powders, but it might, depends. Anyway. But if you're going to keep um, kind of like a little emergency kit thing in there, I definitely recommend you sit down and think about everything that could possibly go wrong personally for you. Like, okay, I'm going to put an extra hair tie in here because somebody always ends up needing one, so I'm going to put two in here because somebody else is going to need one and I want to have one for me just in case. Um, some contact cleaner and a contact case just in case something bad happens. You know, just sit down and like assess everything that has gone wrong to you. They're like, dang, I wish I had that in my purse, or why isn't this in my purse today? Like, things like that, then you can just always keep it in there. You don't really have to go through it or anything. Just change purses with you, and it just works out that way. And then the little, littler one I created, because I don't need that much stuff, because I don't carry those purses back on a day-to-day, -day, I use them more for, you know, going to breweries and whatnot, and like little mountain trips, so this one was more convenient for that so yeah if you guys have any questions if you have any tips on things that you keep in yours that were great tell me what your emergency kits have and I will talk to you guys later